All right, friends, today I want to talk to you about paintings that don't turn out and what to do with them. Now, it's one thing to say a painting doesn't turn out. It's another re thing to talk about why it didn't turn out. Um, and I'll, I'll go into that a little bit here. But this is a painting that I started on location at a vineyard a few years ago. And I left without getting the painting finished. And to be honest, I think that the painting could have potential. It could work. Maybe. There are some things that I don't like about it design-wise. But I think that if I was there in the moment again, I might be able to figure out how to make it work. But it's been two years or more. I don't feel any desire to get back into this painting. I don't want to work on it. And that's the main reason I would say I'm going to give up on this painting. Not because it couldn't be fixed, but because I don't feel like I want to work on it. So let's talk about what we could do if we're going to get rid of a painting like this. So one of the design things before I talk about how I'd get rid of it is that I have a problem with this, the like how equal all this is. Now this is accurate to what a vineyard's like, you know, things are planted in rows and that, but this is just way too boring for me. Like everything's equal distance. There's nothing happening here. So anyways, what can you do? You of course could take this and you could chuck it. You can get mad, you could chuck it, you can do whatever, you can burn it. I have an artist uh, that I learned from long ago and he, he would always do, uh, he, he, he had a, like a ceremony. Every once in a while he'd take the bad paintings that he had and he'd just burn them. Cause he didn't feel like he wanted to have their mojo like hanging around, he didn't like that. But here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just repurpose this. So this is a hard surface, it's a panel, it's an MDF panel. And one of the things I like about painting on a hard surface like this versus a canvas that stretch is that it's a lot easier to sand it. So I would just take this and I would just give it a nice quick sand to get rid of the areas that are maybe raised up or would be distracting. So I'll go over the whole thing and I don't need to get it perfect, but I wanna just get some of this knocked down. And then when it gets down to be fairly smooth, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna grab some gesso. Now I have this massive container of gesso here, right? This is uh, like a gallon. <laughs> and this is actually called neutral, it's neutral gray. And the reason I like to use something like neutral gray when I'm painting over an old painting is that it's gonna cover everything that's down there easier than white will. White's gonna be a little bit more difficult to cover up all the colors so we'll take multiple coats where generally if I'm doing something with this or black I can cover it in one coat of gesso and it's going to look good enough for me to feel uh, great about painting over it. So you can see if you look close you might not be able to notice but there's a couple places on here that have a slight texture coming through but it's not anything that is super bad so like I said I'm not that worried about it when I put on the the next painting over top of this it's going to have some extra texture so that texture underneath will blend in the thing I'm most concerned about is if my painting on the bottom had a lot of texture and maybe it looked like a mountain or you know, it had some kind of really obvious design in it because it was built up with a lot of texture under there, then I would probably spend more time working on sanding it down to get it to be a blank surface. So anyways, guys, this is what I do when I have a painting that I'm not sure that I want to figure out how to make it work. And I at the same time, don't feel like I just want to throw the canvas out or the panel out. I will take something like gray gesso, neutral gesso, or black gesso, and I will paint over it. And then all of a sudden, I've got something that I can work with again here. 
And I wouldn't be surprised if I do one of my next lessons on this exact panel and therefore it has a fresh life. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below telling me what you would like to see a video about because I'm here to serve you and help you in your artistic journey. Remember this, you are loved and believed in. I'll see you next time.